So what I have here is my video camera. I was recording the first episode of, for well, the first show for this channel, and well, it died. It ran for probably an hour. Then it, I turn, I closed the screen, which turns it off. I tried to turn it back on again. It didn't work. Since I bought it on eBay, I figured it wasn't worth trying to return. So I decided to take it apart to see what was wrong. I first just thought that it was a bad capacitor. But when I opened it, this CPU right here was, well, I think it's a CPU. It could be an FPGA. But whatever it is, it was warm. So, so I, I got a couple theories on it. One, the power supply could be bad. But that's kind of doubtful. Two, this thermal pad might be bad, but again, probably doubtful. What most likely happened is that it cooked itself. They're probably running these things at such a high, such close tolerances that it just cooked. But I'm gonna take this off and see maybe the thermal pad is bad. Seems to be a sticky thermal pad. There it goes. Sort of. You needle those. Hmm. Well, the chip's made by Panasonic, as far as I, all I can see from here. Go the battery and see if it gets hot. Turn it on. Now it's on. It's not really getting warm. It's gooey. Not warm. Oh, now it's warm enough. Let's see how long it lasts. If I just keep my finger on now, it's warm enough. It's still not hot. If I had a thermometer, that would be helpful. Yeah, see? It's not that hot. But I guess maybe a hundred? I'm gonna see if I can determine what type of chip it is and maybe I'll get lucky and find a manual on it. Maybe I'll find the specs. But it's probably hose. Oh, well, there is one interesting thing I found. This is the, uh, I guess, uh, the actual camera, the uh, CCD, the uh, sensor and the zoom. I found what's interesting is the way that it's put together, there's these little rubber things that it sits in, and it's completely isolated from the chassis, which I thought was interesting considering this is only a $160 camera.
So I did Google this IC before I took it apart. I didn't find a data sheet, but I did find a service manual that included a lot of information. It had block diagrams and even, I guess, the trace routes for a circuit board. Unfortunately, it's not very good resolution, so I couldn't actually figure out what was wrong with this stupid thing. I did, however, find it the interesting that this IC right here gets hotter when it's plugged in the USB. I don't know if that's because uh, voltage regulator is bad, which was my first assumption before I took the thing apart, or they're channeling uh, USB power directly into the IC. But that wouldn't make much sense since that's 5 volts and almost nothing runs at 5 volts. That's an SMD package. Either way, this is pretty much hosed. I, I did try, I was playing with it before and I'm starting to think it's less heat and more something got messed up in memory or there's an overrun problem or something. Because it didn't, I was able to get it started even with the IC hot. And it seemed to take about the same time to crash. So what is actually going on here, I have no idea. Anyway, if you like that, I don't know why you would though, because all you see is my hands. Why would I do that? That's weird. Anyway, if you like this insanity, please subscribe and press the like button. In fact, if you like metal lathes, I'm rebuilding one. I was planning on showing you a uh, time lapse of me putting the parts back together. But no camera, so I'm just going to have to show you some of its features. Anyway, if you subscribe, you'll be able to see that video as soon as I upload it, which will be either next week, somewhere between next week and next year. Depends how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching.